Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm gonna do uh, something a little different today, something I haven't done uh, actually ever. I'm gonna do a video unboxing from inside my car. I figured, you know, sometimes I do it uh, in the bedroom, sometimes I do it in the backyard, but I figured let me just do something a little different this time, okay? So bear with me. So you can see it's raining today in Toronto, Canada. It's about nine degrees, so as you can see, it's getting colder, closer to winter time, so um, that's why you guys have been seeing, if you are a subscriber to my channel, um, a lot of uh, running videos because it's getting a little colder now. Snow's about to fall, so it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Um, but anyway, so kind of in the in-between, that's when I try to do them. Anyways, for today's video unboxing, I'm going to do it uh, on a um, company from uh, China. It's uh, called ID IRC, and it's uh, the Model 1603. It is the... 116 scale full drive rally car. Uh, this also comes in a 1604 in a uh, different body style, which is this one here, which is also very nice. Um, I kind of like the retro look to this one. Uh, I think it looks like the Lancia um, for, I guess, the rally car enthusiasts out there. Anyway, as you can see, it's got its own uh, ESP system. Um, I opted for the uh, brushless motor uh, arrangement. There's also a brush version. Uh, so I, I asked for the brushless one. Uh, it's got ESP, which is, of course, as you all know, it's for uh, drifting. Um, you can control it, which I'll show you in a bit. Anyways, so I'm going to start the uh, video unboxing. <clears throat> a less room than I would normally have, but we're going to make do with what we have, right? So I want to just... Uh, take stuff out of the box as best as I can. <clears throat> Alright, first off, I guess we have the, uh, uh, basically it's uh, um, instructions on uh, what's what in the car, including the body shell and whatnot. And if you need um, parts, here's the parts list over on the bottom. We have the operating instructions for this car. This also goes, of course, with uh, the 160, uh, the other one there, with the 1604. Uh, but that's for this one anyway. And in it, uh, basically, it has instructions on you know how to set up the car, how to apply body clips, as if we don't know how to do that already. But anyway, um, and of course, more importantly, how the ESP function works. You can turn it up, you can turn it down, depends on how much you want to drift. Um, you can also put on uh, rubber tires. Um, so basically, if you, want, if you don't want to drift, you just want to go on the road, just use rubber tires. And if you want to just you know play around the basement kind of thing, or even on a, on a nice smooth track, you can also do drifting as well. Um, so basically, and that's about it. And just, you know, some blow up diff uh, diagrams, um, the suspension, the parts that belong where in case of course if something breaks and whatnot so that's that so uh let me see so this car it looks like it's strapped underneath so i'm gonna go ahead using my old knife to try to uh go ahead and take it out so you guys can see what's on the inside sorry if you bear with me i'm almost done here Figured, you know, let me try something different this time, right? Okay, so here's the car. As I said, it's a UD IRC. It's very nice, actually. I really, I like that retro 80s look to it. Uh, it's got that, of course, that peel, uh, see-through transparent film on it to protect it. But I think I'll leave it on. I mean, it's white, so I know that if I would peel off, the blues will just be more dynamic and and all that but as you can see the detail is actually quite nice so uh, I can show you guys a little closer it's actually not too bad okay so of course it's a, the chassis is uh, black plastic similar to the pine cone models so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the clips so you guys can see what's on the inside which I'm sure to a lot of you will be very familiar. So I'm just taking off the last clip here. OK. 
Okay. So the shell is um, it's a port, it's a plastic. It's not uh, like that see-through plastic. It's a little thicker, as you can see. So it's uh, more along the lines of um, more. It, it, it's more durable in case you do flip it. It's got a different. Uh, here's the tire series. You can see it's got a different tread pattern. It's actual rubber. Um, of course, there's no foam in it. It's such a small, lightweight vehicle. I don't think you really need it, to be honest. Um, so it does come with a. Let me just try to do it like this here, so you can see it. So as you guys can see, it's a the a brushless version. Um, here is the uh, 3900 kV motor. It comes with a, a two-cell lithium-ion battery, JST connector. And of course, which plugs into the ESC, which is right here with the same JST connector. Here we have our uh, two-in-one ESC receiver. Okay, so and of course, this is the brushless version, as you can see, with the three-wire uh, servo here. Let me get this wire out of the way. With a three-wire servo uh, connecting to uh, connecting to the steering. Of course, once again, we have uh, non-oil-filled units. Um, but these work, you know, quite well considering the car is, you know, it's pretty lightweight. Um, but it's actually, it's actually pretty well built. Um, it's got um, steel dog bones up front. And in the rear, it's got a more traditional dog bone setup in the back. I'm not sure how much I can show you guys, but I just want to just show you like that. Very, very, it's almost identical to the... Uh, so the Pinecone SG models. It's got this bumper up front, of course, uh, to uh, uh, you know absorb front end impact, and uh, it's got a plastic bumper in the back, with of course the LED light, which um, helps you see it better at nighttime when it's uh, driving away from you. Um, in the in the cover, of course, you have your lights up front, the light buckets. So that's nice, and if, and I, I believe if I recall, the lights uh, go white, full red, full white, and a combination of both. So it gives a nice demon look to it. So that's quite nice, and uh, that's basically it. So yeah, very very handsome little package. Again, it's a one sixteenth scale UD IRC one six zero three four wheel drive rally car. So if you guys have any, oh, actually there's one thing I almost forgot, the remote. How can I forget the remote? And uh, I know you guys recognize this one. Here is the actual UDIRC remote. It's got steering trim, throttle, steering dual rates, um, throttle reverse. I'm just reading through the camera here. Uh, steering auto reverse and of course the ESP, which is up here which controls the degree of drift that you guys want to do there's what it looks like on the front foam it's got a nice spring to it so it's quite nice and the trigger feels good too uh, forward and reverse okay and looks like it takes three maybe well, maybe four double a batteries four double a batteries so basically a mirror image of the uh, pine coal models uh, so I guess that is about it and of course, here's the on-off switch up here. And here is to change the channels that you want to control. I'm thinking it's for the lights or whatnot. But anyways, uh, feels good in the hand. Um, of course, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm right-handed, but obviously most of them are like that. So you kind of steer like that. Uh, you can't reverse the steering wheel like on some of the Fue models. But anyway, that's what it is. Feels good in the hand. Once you, you put in the batteries, you'll, it'll be weighted nicely. So that's it. So I guess that's about it for, I guess, the video unboxing. Actually, hold on, there's one more thing. Getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so most important thing, we have the drift tires also included. Um, basically right in here. So it's the same wheel pattern as the pine cone models. Let me see if I can find one so you can look through the plastic. Yeah, you can get a good look at too. You can see it through there. So yeah, those are the same wheels as on the Pinecone models. These are for drifting. Um, 
it's got a bit of almost like a rubberized plastic but it's more on the plastic side so you can run these on the road um i wouldn't um if you want to do some you know, road road racing or whatnot i definitely obviously stick to the rubber ones that the car obviously comes with as you can see they're much more suited for the road and of course the charging system which is uh what everybody's kind of doing these days with the uh, with the usb so right over here let's see if you can see it right there that's the usb plug and of course it plugs right into the uh battery to the to the 2s charging port right over there let's put it so um, that is the uh, video unboxing of the UDIRC 1603 full wheel drive 116 scale rally car with ESP. Um, I guess it's their version of, uh, I guess, drifting management. So if you guys have any questions about this particular RC or any of the other ones in my fleet, please by all means leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions that you guys may have. All right, take care guys.